He's accused of bribery, corruption, and other charges. Tonight, the suspended attorney general of Texas is facing perhaps his biggest test as his impeachment trial gets underway. Here's Laura Jarrett. Tonight, in battle, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton fighting for his political survival at a rare impeachment Judge trial. Obama. Some of the evidence that you're going to hear is shocking. With fiery opening statements rounding out day one. What is being attempted here hasn't happened in our state in 100 years. The conservative firebrand suspended after the Republican-controlled State House voted to impeach him back in May. Warren the state Kevin Senate Paxton now deciding here. whether he should be permanently Attorney removed General from Texas. office. Paxton's been accused of misusing his powers to help a local real estate developer's struggling business in exchange for free home renovations. House impeachment managers say that same developer was helping Paxton cover up an alleged affair. Those allegations are offensive and false. The attorney general pleads not guilty. The attorney, the attorney general, general formally pleads pleading not guilty, not guilty today Clerk to 16 article. articles article of impeachment. 15. For God's sakes, what are we doing here? It's a dramatic turn for Paxton, known for his lawsuits against the Biden and Obama administrations over health care and immigration. And while he's been dogged by investigations for years, voters in Texas re-elected him twice. At the end of the day, Mr. Paxton wasn't the man they thought he was. His political future now in the hands of the state's 31 senators, 19 of them Republican, one his own wife, sitting at trial but barred from deliberating, and some familiar faces reportedly on the list of potential witnesses, including Paxton's 2022 challenger, George P. Bush, and political strategist Carl Rove. Laura Jarrett, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.